Hi and welcome to Mad Jack's Production Shack and today we're going to be reviewing um, an endoscope for a Android phone which also is for uh, a PC or laptop. Um, order this on eBay, allegedly it's based in the UK however for some strange reason it does have uh, a China postmark and it took more than the 10 days to arrive however obviously during the coronavirus era um, we can expect slow postage so this is what it arrived in, it arrived in this packet and it was just in this little bag and when we open up the little bag we end up with a few cables so we've got a user manual um, not a great deal of information on that but hey oh, there's enough for us to carry on with so that'll do We've got this, this spring and um, a little mirror, I'm not really sure how we're going to use that but I'm not interested. The main reason that I bought this was that we fitted a new engine into my van and before I got the engine number um, and, and now I need it so I'm going to have to get in there with the endoscope to try and find this engine number. So, with a cable which is fastened together with a little cable tie, which nice and neat. On the end we've got the uh, 8mm endoscope with some LED lights and on the end we've got a standard mini USB connection we've got another connection for the USB to go into so we can plug it into our laptops via the larger USB port um, so quite simply fits like that However, my problem is I've got a Samsung Galaxy 8 phone and it has a different connection at the bottom there. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to plug in my adapter that takes it to a standard USB connection and I'm going to plug the phone, uh, sorry the endoscope into the phone. And we can see straight away uh, the lights come on and on here we've got a little adapter that will allow the light to be brightened I'm not sure if you can see it properly there on the little wheel which is nice and then there's a little button which I'm assuming that's probably to start and stop the uh, photo or the video but I'm not really sure at this stage so I plug that in and then on the instructions it's given us a barcode for us to read which is which, to scan to find the software to install or you can to go on to Google Play and download the USB camera um, app to get this up and running um, which I did that and I'll just log in It was quite an easy app to find and I downloaded it, there's no adverts, nothing like that in there. However, when I fire up the app, what we should have now is obviously we've got the bits for us to use the camera, the video, change the settings and so on. But unfortunately, on my mobile phone, nothing works. can't get anything whatsoever to happen um, so I just wonder whether because I'd used this adapter for the USB connection whether that had made any difference or whether it may be an incompatible issue with the version of Android that I'm running so what I did was I disconnected the short cable and then connected this into my wife's mobile phone Again, this is Samsung, so whether it's an issue with Samsung, I don't know. Um, but when I downloaded the software, I got the same result. So, from there, I went back into the Google Play Store and had a look around. And I found another app, um, which you might just be able to see here. And it's... Um, 
Endoscope app for Android. So I can click on there and it brings up this Endoscope app for Android. And then this is using the free version of it. Um, obviously it's got supporters. If I find this app any good then obviously I'll purchase it. But what I do know it has actually got adverts in it. Um, so if I click on the camera and then again we're starting to ad use advertisements so if I just back that and yes it wants to access stuff and there we go now we've got on screen um, so it's, it's actually working with different software and I'll just use it over here just to show you Picking up the writing now from about three or four centimeters away. Um, so I find that the uh, the view is quite good. It does say if you're about uh, about six centimeters away, it gives you the best view. And you can see that it has there. I've obviously got the camera upside down, so I can just twist it around there. So that view should be good enough for me to actually find this engine number on my van so we're gonna go away now and uh, try that out see what happens and I'll get back to you and let you know so I took the end of the screw up outside and popped the bonnet and had a rummage around underneath the engine looking for the engine number uh, took a little bit of fiddling around and we did struggle with the sunlight hitting the screen of the mobile phone so it's difficult for us to see the picture but on the whole a um, good tool would I recommend it for someone else to buy yes I would thanks for watching and if you like the video please remember subscribe and comment thank you very much